How's it going my beauties? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Nteshi and we're here for vibes and it's good vibes only. So guys, today is a Monday. It's a Monday and um, we are actually getting ready to leave now. We are going to to Fosla Rice guys. It is a very sad day for me. My baby is, this is my my baby's last day. Is it last day? It's Leroy's last day in South Africa. It's Leroy's last day in South Africa, guys. And um, I can feel in my heart. Hobo <laughs> talk. Oh. Pardon me. <laughs> guys, hobo talk. Like, it is hurting. It is hurting. Like, honestly. But anyways, my baby's leaving. And yeah, we're driving to Foslo now. Gonna run some errands. Hey, baby. Hi. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog for the last time in our place? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> guys. So, anyways, guys, he's leaving, and this guy packed so fast yesterday. I wish I could have the same skill as he does. And yeah, he's gonna go and finish up packing in Fort Loras, and then tomorrow he's flying out. So yeah, that's it. Oh, that is it, baby. This house won't feel the same without you. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're getting ready to leave. I just thought I'd come and just start the vlog here and huh? Get it. The house won't feel the same without you, my love. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Mm. You're gonna be missed. Thank you. Thank you. How long for Bola? Manjwari, thank you. Okay, babe. But yeah, guys, we're just going to. He's just finalizing the rest of his things. So, we're gonna go run some errands, the bank things, a bunch of errands. And then later on today, not later on, actually, it's at one o'clock. 
we need to go get some stuff from the seamstress for our friend Jess's wedding. So he needs to take some of the stuff and then I will take the rest of the stuff when I'm leaving. Yeah, and then you still need to go and sort out your gym things. But yeah, guys, so I will catch you guys later. I just came here, like I said, to start the vlog. And yeah, yeah. that's it. Guys, on, on, honestly, I think I need a roommate at this place. I'm not good at staying by myself and all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, even my cousin is leaving today, guys. Even my cousin is leaving. So I'm just really just going through it. Like, honestly, this is the last time I'm probably seeing my cousin because she's leaving me alone at this place. Yeah, I'm leaving, girl. So I don't know what to say. I can feel, guys, I can literally feel my emotions. Demi, I'm going to get get a pole. I'm going to get pole, guys. So I don't know. Um, let me just. Guys, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys. I'm going to be a wreck. I don't want to be a wreck on camera, on national YouTube. <laughs> That's why I'm smiling so much. I'm going to brush up. My cousin is brushing me. I don't want to talk. <laughs> Good morning, my beauties. I don't know if this is a new intro or if it is an extension of yesterday's intro, but guys, <laughs> I'm currently suffering because my memory card, I don't know what's going on with it. I have recorded like about two weeks worth of footage and it literally started acting up. So now I don't know if like this is now a fresh vlog or if by this time I would have sorted out my like trying to retrieve all my lost data and all that stuff so that's what i'm currently doing but today is the day that leroy is leaving if this is like new information because i've been vlogging about it for about a week guys if this is new information leroy is going back to america we are both going back to work and live in the u.s um and so he's basically flying out today and I'm still waiting for my flight tickets and yeah so right now we're just going to see now they're already calling me guys we're in Foslo we are getting ready to go and take him to the airport and run a few errands beforehand but yeah bye oh. guys I was saying that we are just running some errands now with Leroy and his dad and then his flight is at 2 p.m. so we're gonna have to come back quickly and head to the airport with his family and all that other stuff but that's what we're doing um i don't know if i lost all my footage or if i'll be able to recover it if i won't be able to then you guys are just gonna get half a story you guys are just gonna get half a story give it some talk you finish it that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay okay bye guys Sink.
So we just dropped him off at the airport. <laughs> we just dropped him off at the airport, guys, with his family. And we are heading home. I don't know why she's doing that. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm gonna head home now. I wanted to go see my mother's friend. I don't know if I'm still gonna do it. I'm so exhausted. But I'll check if she's free or not. <laughs> or not, I'm not lying. <laughs> but yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I need to look through it and see. Like some of the stuff, yes, because I bought an orange dress that I will definitely wear. I need to look through the stuff. That's why I came back home because I want to look through everything and make sure which, um, I'm packing the stuff that I actually am going to wear and stuff. But basically, like one of the suits. For the first time, for the first time, really, yes, you go to America, just make money proud. You get 20 butter from the airport. Ma, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I am prepared. I am prepared. I am mentally prepared, emotionally prepared, physically. I don't know, but I am prepared for this trip. I'm going to pack one suitcase. Listen, I'm packing one suitcase for myself. One suitcase is going to have the spices and Jess's things. The other, the carry-on is just going to have my, my equipment, like my ring lights and stuff. Tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Set my world on fire You set my world on fire I don't know what I'd do without you You make me smile, what is it that you do? beauty yo oh, guys it's been a long day it has been a long long day guys I'm not gonna lie this is when paranoia starts guys because I'm here alone oh. Guys, it's been a long day. It is now like around 8 p.m. It is like, let's see. Yeah, it's like 9 p.m. guys. Um, I've been home for like, maybe like an hour guys. Um, I've been home for like an hour. And I've just been talking to my mom. It's been a long day guys, like literally, um, I've kept myself, not that I've kept myself busy, but like I've been busy the whole day and from like the airport and onwards, I just kept myself very busy because I didn't really want to go through the motions of my baby not being here because I think like from the time that we've started dating guys, we've been in close proximity to each other, you know, so let me just, I'm trying to make a hookah guys. I drove around to so many places when I was driving back from his parents place to come here and because I wanted to make a hookah and the stores were closed because I came so late and I was supposed to also go see my friend's mom but guys like literally the way I've been so exhausted literally from Thursday until now I've been waking up super early to try and like get stuff done for 
you know, this Leroy leaving and then me leaving at some point and then also sleeping very late guys because like I'm trying to catch up with everyone like we've been like hosting we've been going to people's we've been you know so it's been like a lot guys and I felt it today even when I was at the gym where Leroy was cancelling his gym membership I literally passed out on the couch while he was still busy with the paperwork and everything so I know like I'm exhausted guys which is why I was like I'm just gonna come home today and I'm gonna start trying to pack because my fear right now is that I feel like the agent is just gonna send me my flight ticket and give me like a day or two's notice to basically pack and leave like I, like I could get the flight and it says you're leaving tomorrow and that if I'm not ready for that guys that's gonna show me flames you know so I went past my sister's place to go and give her her, her gota, guys. I bought gokasi. I definitely don't feel like cooking today because, you know, so I went and bought a gota for us. I went and bought a gota. Look at that is. I went and bought the bunny chow. Do you see? huh guys with some russian and everything it's a bit cold now so i'm gonna have to warm it up which just defeats the whole purpose of eating a kota guys because you have to eat it when it's still nice and fresh and the chips and everything is just slapping you know but that's what i'm gonna have for dinner guys and it's already late i shouldn't have been eating anything but like i am hungry so that's what i'm gonna eat i'm having a glass of wine so when i went to my sister's when i got there she gave me a bottle of wine to drown my sorrows um this wine i left at her place um when i was moving out and it's still there it's still there so since she's not drinking i'm gonna drink you know one thing about me is i am going to drink the wine guys um so it is a merlot kwv i wanted to try it when i bought it so i was like i'm gonna try it. i do like merlots guys um i like merlots i like cab serves definitely cabernet sauvignons are like my favorite and i also like shiraz i like the dry wines guys like if you're gonna come to me what's really those sweet little things i promise you that's not for me like obviously it's for other people but for me i just like dry things like i don't like sweet drinks okay so i didn't know guys pick and pay sells flavors so i went and i found them there because um what do you call it the hookah stores were closed and i bought myself some milk guys it's so hard to buy groceries i don't know if i've already said this to you guys it's so hard to buy groceries like in this particular stage of me like moving maybe moving maybe what you know like when am i leaving because like the last thing you want is to have like a full fridge and everything so i'm just buying like bits and bits and bits you know and i bought like these things these pies i don't know how they're gonna taste um steak and kidney pies um the pick and pay brand guys because i was like i'm just gonna try them i hope they taste good i don't know if they don't yoki sono gun so this is what i'd gone to look for and i found these um Leroy's sister had bought these strong bows. She had bought them when we had a bride at my sister's place. And she hated them, guys. She hated them. And then I tried them. She hated them because they're nice and sour, which is my vibe. So I was like, I tried them and I liked them. And then from now on, I'm just like, I'm just going to drink them. But then when, my, when I saw that my sister has wine, she offered me this wine. She's like, ah, but it's yours. You left it here when you, when you moved out. So I was like, okay, let me just go and take it and drink it because it's cold anyways. Red wine is very good for warming you up. I'm going to do that. Um, <sighs> Hi, guys. Hi, my beauty. Oh, guys, it's been a long day. It has been a long long day guys i'm not gonna lie this is when paranoia starts guys because i'm here alone 
Guys, it's been a long day. It is now like around 8 p.m. It is like, let's see. Yeah, it's like 9 p.m. guys. Um, I've been home for like, maybe like an hour guys. Um, I've been home for like an hour. And I've just been talking to my mom. It's been a long day guys, like literally, um, I've kept myself, not that I've kept myself busy, but like I've been busy the whole day and from like the airport and onwards, I just kept myself very busy because I didn't really want to go through the motions of my baby not being here because I think like from the time that we started dating guys, we've been in close proximity to each other, you know, so let me just, I'm trying to make a hookah guys. I drove around to so many places when I was driving back from his parents' place to come here and because I wanted to make a hookah and the stores were closed because I came so late and I was supposed to also go see my friend's mom but guys, like literally the way I've been so exhausted literally from Thursday until now I've been waking up super early to try and like get stuff done for you know, this Leroy leaving and then me leaving at some point and then also sleeping very late guys because like I'm trying to catch up with everyone like we've been like hosting we've been going to people's we've been you know so it's been like a lot guys and I felt it today even when I was at the gym where Leroy was canceling his gym membership I literally passed out on the couch while he was still busy with the paperwork and everything so I know like I'm exhausted guys which is why I was like I'm just gonna come home today and I'm gonna start trying to pack because my fear right now is that I feel like the agent is just gonna send me my flight ticket and give me like a day or two's notice to basically pack and leave like I, like I could get the flight and it says you're leaving tomorrow and that if I'm not ready for that guys that's gonna show me flames you know so I went past my sister's place to go and give her her, her goda, guys. I bought gokasi. I definitely didn't feel like cooking today because, you know, so I went and bought a goda for us. I went and bought a goda. Look at that, guys. I went and bought the bunny chow. Do you see? Huh, guys, with some Russian and everything. It's a bit cold now, so I'm gonna have to warm it up, which just defeats the whole purpose of eating a kota, guys, because you have to eat it when it's still nice and fresh and the chips and everything is just slapping, you know? But that's what I'm gonna have for dinner, guys, and it's already late. I shouldn't have been eating anything, but like, I am hungry, so that's what I'm gonna eat. I'm having a glass of wine. So when I went to my sister's, when I got there, she gave me a bottle of wine to drown my sorrows. Um, this wine I left at her place um, when I was moving out and it's still there it's still there so since she's not drinking I'm gonna drink you know one thing about me is I am going to drink the wine guys um, so it is a Merlot KWV. I wanted to try it when I bought it, so I was like, I'm gonna try it. I do like Merlots, guys. Um, I like Merlots. I like Cab Sauvs. Definitely Cabernet Sauvignons are like my favorite. And I also like Shiraz. I like the dry wines, guys. Like if you're gonna come to me, what's really those sweet little things? I promise you, that's not for me. Like obviously it's for other people, but for me, I just like dry things. Like I don't like sweet drinks. Okay. So I didn't know guys pick and pay sells flavors. So I went and I found them there because um what do you call it? The hookah stores were closed. And I bought myself some milk. Guys, it's so hard to buy groceries. I don't know if I've already said this to you guys. It's so hard to buy groceries like in this particular stage of me like moving, maybe moving, maybe what? You know, like when am I leaving? because like the last thing you want is to have like a full fridge and everything so i'm just buying like bits and bits and bits you know and i bought like these things these pies i don't know how they're gonna taste um steak and kidney pies um the pick and pay brand guys because i was like i'm just gonna try them i hope they taste good i don't know if they don't yoki sonokan 
so this is what I'd gone to look for and I found these um, Leroy's sister had bought these strong bows she had bought them when we had a bri at my sister's place and she hated them guys she hated them and then I tried them she hated them because they're nice and sour which is my vibe so I was like I tried them and I like them and then from now on I'm just like I'm just gonna drink them but then when, my, when I saw that my sister has wine, she offered me this wine. She's like, ah, but it's yours. You left it here when you, when you moved out. So I was like, okay, let me just go and take it and drink it because it's cold anyways. Red wine is very good for warming you up. I'm going to do that. Um, so, yeah, guys, what was I say? It's, it's very hard guys to watch my baby leave and guys as i was leaving i wasn't vlogging but as i was leaving the airport i also bumped into precious she was catching a later flight her flight was at five and Leroy's flight was at um 2 p.m so i just saw her there my heart was so broken guys to be here in sa and i see the people leaving but i know i'm gonna be there in a few weeks or whatever um god willing and guys my my baby texted me like i was just reading this to my mom say he texted me say guys he even took like a video of him walking look at this he took a video of him walking so my baby he took a video of him walking on the runway to go to to go onto his flight and he said i shot this for you for content guys that is so sweet oh guys i'm so emotional and i don't even know why i'm so emotional oh guys this guy is like the sweetest i swear to you so that's what he said guys and i was like oh my gosh that is so sweet like he literally as he was walking he just thought of me and my vlog and everything and then oh guys he's like i love you it feels so weird not having you around guys like honestly my baby is the sweetest human being like i know like this guy like bother like i bother him i know i bother him like i bother him a lot on um on a what's this on a daily basis guys like i really do bother him a lot like a lot but guys he is the sweetest human being ever even when he bothers me you know because but guys he's the sweetest human being he's the most thoughtful human being i'm not even gonna say boyfriend because then i'm just being biased in a way but yeah guys oh, that message those two messages that came they they just melted my heart guys they just melted my heart and i know like people are just like man are you oh, come on like you're gonna see him in like two seconds but guys it's so different when your person is not around you like he's not here in our place and all this stuff guys it's so so different and it's just like really just like I don't know what the word is guys i don't like talking about emotions and all that stuff but it really just oh, it just melts my heart or it just i don't know how to put it guys like it just makes me so sad oh it makes me so sad guys but those messages really just melted my heart i was reading them to my mom now i'm like oh this is like the sweetest human being ever guys guys i i don't know what i did you know i don't know what i did to deserve this man Mara. i want to know guys it's a give word heart and I haven't even started drinking um, a full glass. <sighs> I don't like talking about emotions, guys. I don't like... Not that I don't like talking about emotions, guys. They kind of overwhelm me a little bit. But also at the same time, I never really do that with you guys. Yeah, but <sighs> I'm in an emotional state and I'm keeping everything down. You know? I just want to leave already, guys, and be near my baby. But also me leaving means I'm leaving my family. Which just... It's just like a lot and i just don't know what to do oh guys let me drink my wine and go and chill i'm gonna watch a series i'm gonna try and edit the video that was supposed to go up today that didn't because i was so busy the past few days i haven't uploaded twice now this is the second time so i'm gonna try and upload tonight so that at least it just goes up you know so that at least it just goes up guys even if it's not the time that i would normally upload and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, and hopefully then I'm going to be in a better state. Let me put it that way. 
Oh, actually, I don't think I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here because I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling tomorrow if I'm gonna even want to vlog. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting for me thinking that I'm gonna be vlogging or something because I don't know how I'm feeling, guys. I'm just in like a bit of a, not even a bit, I'm in like an emotional state. And I know it feels like unreasonable to even be like, you know, because even his sister's like, girl, you're gonna see him in like two seconds. You know, and then I feel bad because I'm like, they're not gonna see him for quite some time, years if not. And I'm here crying about not seeing him for like a week or two. <sighs> oh, guys. I said Jola. I went there and I wanted to Jola, guys. Now I'm like so in love to a point where I just can't like be apart from my man for like a few days. But guys, I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys um, on the next vlog. Like, honestly, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next vlog. I think I'm just gonna end it here. And it's been so nice staying with my baby, guys. This is like the first time we stayed together without like other roommates, because in the US we stay with other people and this is like the first time when we stayed together without other people and I feel like we got to learn each other guys and I honestly thoroughly enjoyed staying with this man like I really enjoyed staying with him just the two of us in our own little space like it was it was a beautiful it was just a beautiful I don't know how to call it like a beautiful experience to have so oh, I just can't wait to see him guys I'm just like can my flight ticket come already? I don't want to be in this house alone. And I was just saying, guys, I hope this guy didn't even forget one pair of socks. Guys, and I'm very dramatic, you know, the way I explain things. But like, I hope he didn't forget like one pair of sock. Because then I'm going to look at this pair of sock and just feel, start being all emotional and everything. Oof. <sighs> guys. Anyways, guys, I will keep... I'll catch you guys later. I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to laugh and everything, but I'm just like not dealing. Hucky dealy, guys. I'm not dealing and I just don't know what to say. Oh. Okay, bye, my beauties. I will catch you guys on the next vlog. Um, please, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Please do subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, I really think we are growing guys we may not be growing at the pace that I thought we'd be growing which is very fast but I'm very grateful for the people that have subscribed because I feel like that is just gonna be like a very um, genuine um, what's this get a getting exchange between you and I like you and I you know it's gonna be like the people that have subscribed are like people that actually enjoy what I'm putting out there that enjoy um, the vibe that I am like the vibe that I am as a person and yeah guys I will catch you guys I will catch you guys another day okay by my beauties I hope you guys had an amazing um what is the day today I hope you guys had an amazing Tuesday and yeah bye I want you for myself every single day you say